Hey you guys, it's Celine. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today, I thought I would share with you one of my quarantine hauls. Um, I don't know about you guys, but since being indoors and like not being able to go anywhere and things being closed, like my desire to online shop has gone through the roof. I've spent many a night just putting things in the cart and then exiting out. Uh, but also this time by myself created a lot of self-reflection and I've been watching a lot of old videos of people and so this is kind of where this purchase was inspired. Um, before I show you guys what I did get, I do want to say a huge shout out. Now I did buy this with my own money, but like uh, this shipment from Eric Andre got here super fast and I just wanted to say thank you because their workers are working through, you know, this current time and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, but okay, so this is how this started because this is kind of getting rambly, but I was watching Sarah Marie videos, just watching older videos and right now when I budget, I just use an Erin Condren notebook, not like a smart one, just like the little, like a petite planner kind of notebook. And that works fine, but I'm trying to do something a little bit more. I'm also switching how I'm doing my sinking funds. And some of them I would like, depending on what it was, I would, you know, hold on to. Now I'm just gonna kind of dump them all into one account. So I need somewhere to kind of, you know, track all of that. Um, so that should be interesting. I'm gonna see how that tries out. If you guys do follow like a, somewhat of a Dave Ramsey, uh, you know, budgeting advice and you have sinking funds, let me know. Do you keep them separate? Do you keep them one account? What did it, what, let me know. I know Jen Plans and Sarah Marie also use one account, uh, which blown my mind, but I've watched so many videos now. I feel like I'm an expert. So I picked up a new planner. Surprise, surprise. That's so weird. I haven't picked up a planner in a really long time, but there's like no card and no anything. Not that I need anything, um, but I guess it's been so long since I've picked anything up from Erin Condon. I thought, you know, like one of those little um, gift labels. So let me know, is that still a thing or am I just out of the loop? Either way, like I said, I, I don't need one. I have so many of those. Okay, so I did pick up the Deluxe Monthly. Um, I really like this cover i don't know what it was it kind of spoke to me while i was browsing uh and i just put finances on it um i really like it and i was thinking it's like dang i probably should have put my name on it because what if i want to switch it to my regular planner but then i just figured if i did i would just um what should we call it uh, i'll just buy another one <laughs> during one of her bogo sales so this is it um now i know like this is late to the game she's about to release um, at least the new life planners. I think these are released a little bit later, but I thought better yet, you know, I might as well get my life together. So I did pick up the monthly in case you guys haven't seen it. I did pick up the colorful, which is, you guys know me, I'm very much the very neutral planner, but I picked up something else similar to like the colorful. Oh no, what was in the colorful? The um, petite planner that I have. And it's kind of starting to grow on me. So, and it did start in January. So what I may just do, um, because I still have kept track of like my finances in a separate notebook. So I may just go back and input for January, February and March, just kind of like what I paid and then what I've done like extra for savings and things like that and just leave it at that. And then start fresh with, um, is it April? Oh wow, yeah, April. Um, so I think I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do this. I've, I have used a Deluxe Monthly for planning before, but I think back then I was just trying, I was like, oh, everyone has a Deluxe Monthly for this and every blah, blah, blah. Um, now I kind of have a better idea of how I'm going to do it, but this part is where I'm kind of confused because I've seen people list every purchase they've made for that month in here. And then I have, if I'm not mistaken, Jen Plans, she'll put her bills and then she kind of separates them. She color codes them into like, what, you know, are your, what is it? Bills or your expenses, then variable expenses, ones that don't have set, um, 
it's not on auto pay and then the ones that are on auto pay and certain things like that. So I think I, I like that. I don't like having to track every single thing that I've spent. I really haven't been spending a lot of money. Well, I have been spending some money, clearly. I bought some stuff. Um, but I really haven't been doing a lot of just extra shopping. So I thought this would be perfect. Um, which also this quarantine, like I said, it's making me want to shop more. And 2020 is a year of not buying anything. And I, you know, I have plans for them. You know, I didn't charge anything. So, you know, we're good. But let me stop making, let me stop trying to justify it. I bought it. I want it. There we go. So uh, I think I'm just going to list the bills that I have and color code them. And that way I like making, I, I can make sure that I've gotten them paid. Because I do have a system right now where I have a list of everything and then if it's crossed off and that means I've actually paid it and then certain ones I'll go back um, and just double check and do it a check mark to make sure that it has come out of my bank account. So there's that. And then these sheets, I'm just going, um, I make a budget for each paycheck. I can't do the monthly budget that throws me off. My dad does it uh, monthly. I can't, I have to do it per paycheck because my mind doesn't understand how you do it monthly and then let's say you get paid and you say you have like I don't know it's just like by doing it monthly when like when you're trying to pull the money out for whether it's groceries or personal I don't know it just throws me off and like how do you have it when you haven't gotten all of your paychecks does that make sense I don't know it throws me off I like doing it per check to me it's easier and I, that way I don't um get confused so I'll probably do you know week one or uh, paycheck one, paycheck two, and then I will um, do the sinking funds. And then I may log what I've purchased just so that I, I can just see myself like, am I spending too much, am I not? I feel like that'll just kind of help be an accountability measure. But like I said, I'm really, I'm outside of these couple of purchases, a uh, couple of purchases this, uh, this past week. <laughs> I really haven't. I've been using what I have and not really buying any extra. So I think I'm fine in that area, but I'm excited to be able to kind of track it and then make sure that from month to month, I know exactly how much is in like this big pool of money that I'm gonna have um, for my sinking buttons. So I'm very, very excited. The colors are speaking to me. And now I'm curious as if to what color wave am I gonna pick when the new planners go out? Am I getting so used to the colorful that I'm gonna want a colorful one? Um, or am I gonna stick to neutral like I always have? I don't know, I kinda feel like I really wanna switch it up this year because I I don't know. I just, I've enjoyed seeing the color. Maybe it's because I've been inside, you know, for a while, but like this, the sun, anything colorful is making me extremely happy. And if I can get this uh, every day, <laughs> I'll take it. So yeah, um, I don't know if I need to go through this. It's the same for each um, month. Like I said, this has been out for a while and I've just kind of now decided to do it, but I'll show you guys the end because I feel like that's like the, the good parts. So you do have, it's similar layout to the regular life planner anyways. So it has a calendar in the front, the back, in the front of the planner in the back. And then you have a good chunk of note section. So I like this. Um, I may use this for like draft. Oh, and they're perforated. That's perfect. This is great. So if you need extra paper for a grocery list or um, doing your a budget like a budgeting draft or anything like that, that's perfect. I love that. Ooh, I'm excited. There's that. You do get some stickers in the back. Is it the same ones? These are so colorful. I'm kind of mad that. I mean, I like the ones I have, but these are super colorful. And this is kind of beautiful. Has the metallic accent, which, does this, the plain one? Yeah, I guess the neutral one has a silver accent. I just didn't even think about that. So yeah, so that is what I'm gonna be doing. This is what I picked up. I'm really excited. Um, I think this is gonna be a great opportunity to try new things. Uh, so I'm hoping that this works out. I know it will, I just need to kind of stick with it. And since this isn't a plan I'm gonna be carrying around, I can do it, leave it pretty much how my current budget notebook works and it'll work and I have more space. I can track it all. So let me know if you guys use the Deluxe Monthly or some a similar system to tracking and especially tracking your sinking funds. 
let me know because this is new territory for me but i'm very excited to kind of just have it in one section because what i've learned is certain ones that i have on me and they never have a lot of money in them uh, just because i also don't like carrying that much cash but it also happens that when i actually need to use it i don't have it so then i have to pull from like my primary checking out account and be like okay well i have to pay myself back and then i have to remind myself but then most of the time i don't remind myself so i have a secondary checking account in a different bank and i feel like this will be helpful i have the card so if i need to access the money i can do it easily but it's also one that i don't access often so i feel like it should be good you know what i mean and we don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be an adventure. So that is going to be it for me today. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.